Seventy days after announcing his candidacy, Governor Scott Walker has dropped out of the race. The governor announced that news at a news conference in Madison. Walker says he's fed up with personal political attacks. He says he's also dropping out for the benefit of the Republican Party. This is a difficult decision as so many wonderful people stepped up to support our campaign. Tonette and I are very thankful for the many outstanding volunteers and the excellent staff who helped us throughout the campaign. You all have been like family to us. 14 Republican candidates remain in the race. A Wisconsin Supreme Court justice died in his chambers. Justice Patrick Crooks was planning to retire at the end of his term in July. He served 20 years as a Supreme Court justice. He leaves behind his wife and six children. Crooks was 77 years old. Milwaukee police are searching for a missing 13-year-old boy. Chris McGee has been missing since Sunday. Police say he is a danger to himself. The department is concerned about Mr. McGee because he is engaged in what we would categorize as risky behavior. He tends to associate with other juveniles who also engage in that type of behavior. Authorities say McGee has the letter C tattooed on one arm, the letter M tattooed on the other. Anyone who knows where he is is asked to call Milwaukee police. A judge delaying the trial date for the girls accused in the Slender Man stabbing. Morgan Geyser and Anissa Wire were supposed to go on trial in October. They are appealing the decision, though, to try this case in adult court. The judge delayed the trial until that appeal can be heard. The Brewers get some new blood in the front office in the form of a young gun general manager. He is David Stearns, the current assistant GM for the Houston Astros. Stearns will take the place of Brewers' outgoing GM, Doug Melvin. Let's get a check on the forecast now. Here's meteorologist Scott Steele. Hello again, everybody. I'm Storm Dean for meteorologist Scott Steele in the Weather Center. And what a spectacular stretch of weather we've had. I hope you got a chance to enjoy it over the weekend. And it looks like we're going to be seeing more of the same over the next several days. In fact, in your weather headlines, crystal clear skies overnight tonight and really plenty of sunshine as we go through the next several days as readings rise back above average into the middle 70s with dry days on tap, low levels of humidity and no precipitation. Going into the record books on this date, 70 and 51, the high and low officially at Milwaukee's Mitchell International. The averages this time of year, 69 and 53. So we're pretty darn close to where we should be. Nowhere near those records. 1920 was the record high of 90 sizzling degrees and just a degree above freezing shows how chilly it really can get this time of year. That record low set back in 1962. Well, some of our other neighborhood high temperatures Notice it got a little warmer well inland, 73 degrees for you fine folks who join us in Watertown, 72 in Beaver Dam, also in Whitewater, 74 in Fondy, but only 70 degrees in Milwaukee uh, County area and also in Racine, 71 in Kenosha and chillier up along the lake from Ozaki through Sheboygan County. Well, future forecast, our computer model showing this dry air in place firmly around here with high pressure easing off to the east, allowing that southerly wind flow to pump in the warmer air. There's a disturbance up to our northwest. And as I said, future forecast in motion, you can see how it kind of fizzles out as it sinks southward into the Badgerland, kind of stalls out across central Wisconsin. I think northwestern parts of the state could see a little bit of precipitation, but around here will continue firmly entrenched in the dry air along with a ridge building in in the upper levels of the atmosphere. So as we zoom into southeastern Wisconsin, future forecast showing our northern communities tomorrow could see just a little bit of cloudiness, but overall we're going to continue to see an abundance of sunshine as we head through the next several days. And if you are traveling around the Badgerland, again, the northern tier of counties, think about the northern third of the state, could see some pop-up showers and storms in advance of that next disturbance, like around Wausau, where it should be about 72 degrees. Hey, even 70 degrees in the Northwoods and Rhinelander with a passing shower a possibility. But here in the southern two-thirds of the state, dry conditions with more sunshine right here in the southeast. So your storm team forecast for the overnight hours, look for clear and mild conditions with temperatures down to near 52. For tomorrow then on our Tuesday, looks like it's going to be another winter. Sunny and warmer again with temperatures soaring back into the middle 70s. Here comes your storm team for seven day forecast. And I think we peak out uh, as we go through the next couple of days. Look for about 75 degrees on Wednesday, 74 on Thursday. We'll start to cool down just a little bit on Friday, but still mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies with temperatures near 72. And it looks as though this pattern could persist right through the upcoming weekend with temperatures remaining in the low 70s and plenty of sunshine. No big storm systems in the offing.